There's a CS2 map that lets you train like this and most players still aren't using it even though it was huge back in CSGO. It's called the YPRAC hub and it's finally available for CS2. This map covers everything, aim, utility, movement, timings with guided modes designed to help you improve faster and train smarter. I'll show you how to set it up, what you get for free, and what's included in the client and how to make the most of every mode. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. They are one of the best and easy to use CS2 skins trading site. All you have to do is select your skins you don't like, pick out new skins you do like, and now you have a nicer inventory. Skins Monkey is not just a trading site. You can buy skins with a 35% deposit bonus using code NART. Click my link below in the description to get a free $5 on your trade. The first step is to download YPRAC Hub by Yesper Workshop Map on Steam. I'm going to link it down below in the description. Make sure to hit subscribe. Once you subscribe to Workshop Map, open up your game, click play, click Workshop Maps. We see YPRAC Hub by Yesper. Click on it, then hit go. When you load in, we see this menu. Free Fire, Shortcuts, Utility, Sandbox, which is the four different modes of this workshop map. And then let's look at the other options. We've got different knife options. We've got weapons. So just go ahead and shoot them and you'll get them. And then if we swing over more to the left, we've got official maps. Unfortunately for this workshop map, only two free maps are available, Nuke or Mirage. And there's four modes, which shown here, that you could play on both maps. Let's go over the pre-fire mode where you have the ability to entry out of these multiple different positions on the map here. I'm gonna entry out of ramp. You can go ahead and repeat the same entry route or you can go ahead and cycle through these red points here. Click pre-fire when you have your settings picked. This is easily the most important mode pre-fire. If you ever watch pro players swing into a site and instantly clear every angle without hesitation, this is how they build that precision. Pre-fire mode runs you through real in-game scenarios and you move through a preset route like pushing to a site and bots will be holding all the common angles where enemies typically peek. Your job is to clear each angle one by one Aim where the head should be before you see the target. You're not reacting, you're pre-aiming. This trains your muscle memory, crosshair placement, and reaction time all at once. The genius of this mode is that you're just not clicking heads. You're learning map-specific peak behavior. So after a few runs, you'll know where people are likely to be holding and how to take fights on your terms. Another cool feature is that after each run, the bots are randomized. So they might hold default from one round, might be triple. This forces you to stay sharp and prevents you from just memorizing patterns. You're also being timed and based on how fast and accurate you are, you'll get a ranking, gold, silver, or bronze. You're not just flicking at bots, you're learning how to properly entry into sites with purpose. That's what makes this mode elite. And this works fully on Mirage and Nuke in the free workshop version, no client or payment needed. If you want to restart your route, all you have to do is press delete. So for me, I'm going to restart because I can't kill this CT bomb connector and it's ruining my time. So I just want to start from the beginning. If you want to switch modes and go back to main menu, press enter. This takes you back to the initial screen. So now let's go over utility. This mode is all about mastering your nades. So inside the map, you'll find guided lineups for the most important smokes, flashes, molotovs, and HEs. There's a bunch of different nodes in the map. You can either walk to that location or you could go ahead and ping and shoot those nodes. Then follow the instructions on the screen. You'll get instant feedback on the lineup. It's clean, simple, and great for hands-on learning. It's not always about aim, utility wins rounds too, so practicing your nades gives you that edge in map control, timing, and outplaying your opponents before the fight even starts. Now let's talk about shortcut mode. This one's all about movement. In CS2, knowing how to move cleanly through the map isn't just flashy, it's what separates fast rotates and successful flanks from getting caught out. Here I'm practicing one of the most useful mirage jumps, which is going from window to catwalk. And what I like about this is if I fail, it takes me instantly back to the spot instead of me having to no clip there like I would in a offline server. Shortcut mode challenges you to run through these key movement routes as fast as efficiently as possible. You're timed on each run, just like pre-fire mode. You can track your personal records and push to beat them. This layout forces you to nail jumps, tight turns, and clean pathing, the stuff that makes your movement feel smooth and confident in actual matches. Last mode is sandbox mode, pretty much your own private offline server. It's got the practice config built in, so you can go ahead and experiment whether you want to test out utility, angles, boost, placing bots anywhere you want. You can roam the map, do whatever you want. You can craft new things and ideas. So the workshop map gives you access to only Mirage and Nuke. So if we go to the website, yprac.com, and we create an account, and then we download the client, this is going to give you access to train. Once you have the YPRAC hub client installed, this is what it looks like. It's free to download, free to use, safe as well. And before we continue with CS2, we need to put in this launch option. So open up Steam, right click on your Counter-Strike 2, go to properties. You're going to type in 
dash con debug. This enables the client to read your settings and results from the console when you're playing in the YPRAG hub. You can keep this launch option even if you're not using the YPRAG client. It is safe so you can continue to play Face It or Premiere. So go ahead and hit X afterwards. So now with the client running and I load up CS2 and the workshop map, the YPRAG hub, you can see that train is available to play four different modes. So these four modes, Prefire, Utility, Shortcuts, and Sandbox are fully usable on train without paying for premium as long as you have the client from the website. So even if you're not ready to upgrade, grabbing the client will give you one more map to train on with zero cost. Get it at YPRAC.com, links in the description. If you want the full experience, YPRAC Premium unlocks everything. This includes all these extra maps besides Mirage, New Train, so you can train Prefire, Utility, Shortcuts, and Sandbox on almost every competitive map in CS2. You also get access to the in-game aim trainer. It's great for snapping, tracking, or building raw aim in a more controlled environment. I want to point out that this isn't sponsored, I'm just walking through what YPRAC offers. If you're using the YPRAC client, there's one more feature worth knowing in-game chat commands. YPRAC has a full command system that lets you customize your training on the fly without touching the console or restarting the map. You can switch weapons, change modes, control bot behavior, reset drills, and even tweak the aim trainer settings all by just typing in chat. Super helpful if you want to speed up practice or build your own custom routines. You can find the full list of commands and how to use them. Link is down below in the description. That's everything you need to start using YPRAC in CS2, whether you're warming up or grinding to improve. If this helped, drop a like and let me know which mode you're using the most. For more CS2 tips, tricks, and breakdowns, hit subscribe and check out my latest video right here and I'll see you over there.